everybody and welcome back to my cooking nooks fed up fast easy and delicious my name is Christine Deaton and welcome to my kitchen in Branson Missouri it's fall it's officially fall which means my cooking gets a little different it warms you from the inside out it's it's very comfort kind of food so good. The flavors of fall are very different. Apples grow everywhere. I mean, there's a lot, lot of things. And when you go to the produce sections, it's things look different. You don't have your summer veggies and your summer fruits and things like that. It's just a whole bunch of different stuff. So, oh my gosh, let's get started. Okay, right now I get my pan, my handy dandy skillet heating up, and I have about two and a half pounds of stew meat. Okay, now the meat. There's no F-E-D, nothing. It's going to be delicious, but there's no fast and easy with the meat. The meat has to cook. It takes about two hours, so we're going to get that started so that by the time you guys are back with me at 1 o'clock, the meat will be all done, ready to go, and then all I have to do is put my vegetables in, and we're going to have a very quick beef stew, okay? No shortcuts with the meat. That's just the way it is. Okay, so these are, these are great because this is already cut stew meat. So I want you to take your meat and I want you to flour them, okay? The flour on the meat, first of all, helps to brown it. And secondly, it, um, it helps when, you know, the, the, the broth to get thick. You need the, you need the flour, okay? So my pan is great. It's already heated up. Here we go. Now, you're going to have to um, brown on both sides, okay? And the other thing that I'm going to tell you is, you're going to be browning the meat, but don't crowd the meat. If you crowd the meat, it starts to steam, and then nothing browns, okay? So it's really, really, really important that you just, look at that, already sizzling. <laughs> I love that sound. I don't care what kind of food you put in your pan, when I hear that sizzle, it makes me happy. <laughs> Anyway, the flour is going to help thicken the, the stew. You know, beef stew is not a beef soup. It's a stew, and stews are thick. So you want to make sure that every one of these little pieces of meat, yes, it's a little tedious, and you got to stand here, and you got to do all that. But in the end, you have an amazing, delicious stew, okay? This is what it looks like. That's all you got to do. Coat it. And again, look in the pan here, guys. You're going to see that I am not crowding the meat because if you crowd the meat, you're going to get them to they start steaming because there's no way for the air to escape. And you have to have air and oil and a couple of different elements going on for that nice browned meat to happen. Okay? So this is what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to keep flouring my meat browning my meat, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put two cups of chicken broth. Yes, you heard me. Not beef broth, chicken broth. Two cups of chicken broth, okay, in my stew. When you put chicken broth in anything, it turns out to be this amazing taste like it's cooked all day kind of soup or stew, whatever you're using it for. And it's a great, great help in the kitchen. And it's one of those staples. Okay, it's a staple in the kitchen. Trust me, get a bunch of the low sodium chicken broth because you can use it for just about everything. Okay, I'm going to continue doing this. Then I'm going to cut my vegetables and we're going to get ready for a great beef stew fall kind of a day. We'll see you guys in a little while. Look at my beautiful beef. Hey, let me turn it over before you guys leave me and come back. Look at that. Perfect. Look, there you go. That's exactly what we want, guys. Okay, so come here, guys. My meat was done. Okay, not done, done, but brown. And I put two tablespoons of tomato paste in there. You guys can see that. Okay, I'm going to add two cups. A chicken broth low sodium chicken broth two cups there's one one and two I'm gonna save the chicken broth because you're probably gonna need some more later okay so don't do anything with your chicken broth 
I'm going to stir this up. And you're seeing already how beautiful this is going to be. Now, the thing is that these, these little babies in here, they have to cook for a while. So we're going to let them do exactly that. We're just going to let them swim in the nice sauce that we've got. They're going to have a great little time today. They're going to be served later, and they're all going to be little, beautiful, happy pieces of meat. Okay, I want to show you. So we did it earlier. I don't know if you guys saw that. We did it earlier. My stew is beautiful. The meat is as tender as my daughter described it as butter. It's as soft as butter. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, I did put one bay leaf in the stew and I put two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay, after I browned all the meat, remember, if you weren't watching, I, I took all the little stew meats, okay, the beef, and I and dredged them in flour, okay? And then you fry them and you brown both sides, okay? You have to make sure both sides are brown. And don't crowd the meat in the pan because then they start to steam. There's not enough air between. And then they just steam and they do not cook right. So you have to be very careful about placing your meat so that everything browns. So then I put my two tablespoons of the tomato paste and I put one bay leaf, honest to goodness, one bay leaf, it gives it a first of all, the smell in the house has been crazy amazing. But it just kind of gives it that stew, kind of there's that little something different about a stew, okay? And that really has to do with that one little bay leaf. Now, if you like bay leaf, if you like that, that taste and that aroma, put a couple, don't put any more than three. I wouldn't do like three of them, no way. Okay. The first thing that I want to do today is I want to get these veggies in because the veggies have to cook, okay? So I have, I had small onions today. So I did two small onions and it's stew. So you want everything chunky. I have one stalk of celery. I could have put two stalks, but Chris is like, please don't. <laughs> so we have one stalk of celery. I have two carrots that I cut in coins, but not thin coins, okay? So I've got my carrots. And then I have, I had two potatoes and I cut them in, you know, you want chunky too. So I've got that in there. Okay, clean as you go, always. All right, let's mix the veggies in, okay? Look at that already. I just want you to see this already. This is beautiful already. It is gonna be a dynamite. Remember Jimmy Walker used to say dynamite? Well, this is that that just aged me. Didn't. Anyway, this is gonna be a dynamite too. Now, believe it or not, I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit, and then if it's too loose later, then I'm gonna add a little more of my broth and I'm gonna add a little more flour to make it like a roux, pour it in there and thicken it up again. So for right now, I'm gonna pour about a cup and a half of chicken broth chicken broth now let me tell you something on the more in the market they have you know beef beef stock beef broth beef bouillon beef whatever whatever you want they've got but it's almost overkill okay it almost because it's going to come the broth the beef broth is going to basically come with its own flavor okay which is going to change the flavor of your stew. You want your flavors, okay? So use a chicken broth. Of course, it's the low sodium. You don't need a lot of sodium in this. You've got, a, you've got amazing, delicious flavors. Now, I will tell you that when I did my meat, I did my quick sprinkle of my garlic salt blend, the California blend, okay? I did do that. So really, my only spice I have in there is the, whatever came off the baby. <coughs> and my garlic salt. That's all I have, okay? So here's all my veggies. I'm going to add one more veggie, and that is a cup of frozen peas. I've had them out for a little while so they're not so frozen anymore. But look at this stew, guys. Now, by the time I put my rice in and the rice gets cooked, and by the time I, uh, in other words, everything's going to be done right about the same time today. My rolls that are going in the oven, it's all going to be done right about the same time, right? Okay, you're out there, you're rooting for me, right? Okay, so this is beautiful. Here we go. 
I'm going to add a tiny bit more broth. But you guys can already see, show right here, Chris. They can already see how amazing this is going to be, how amazing it already looks. Stir it around. Make sure, now listen, oh, let me tell you, when I browned the meat, the nice caramelization on the bottom was beautiful. That's part of the color and, of course, the flavor. So don't do anything with that. That is so part of the taste of this dish, you keep it all, and then when you put your liquids in, you're able to actually scrape the bottom and make sure that you've got all of those scrapings off the bottom of the pan. Okay, cover it. Is we have Mary Warden Good with us. Hello, says, Mary Hi. Warden Good. How are you, girl? Alicia. Hi, says Alicia. Hello. And then Yvette says, hello there. Looking forward to making a good beef stew this fall of winter. Oh, yeah. And she says, that looks so good. Love meals like that. I, I, I do. It's, it's like it's, it's like this change in everything, in atmosphere, in weather, in the temperature, in clothes, in everything. I love this time of year, and I love cooking this time of year. Okay. <clears throat> All I did for rolls was... Do yourselves a favor. Their brand biscuits are great. They're nice and bulky. I just added a little butter and I did some cracked black pepper and a little bit of my garlic sprinkle on top. These are going in the oven about 14 minutes. These are great, perfect. You know what? They have the little tiny biscuit roll things. I don't waste my time with that because you want to eat about 25 of them. These are nice and big and hearty and most people will eat one. And with all this beef stew, because beef stew is kind of heavy. You only need a roll. Let's put it in the oven one day. Okay, while well, that's going, I'm going to set my timer, by the way. Okay, we're going to do 14 minutes on the rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Today I have my daughter Elizabeth in the kitchen with me, and I have my grandson Eden. Eden's going to help me make, here they are right there, my lovely family right there. Of course, Chris is behind the camera, as always. <coughs> And they're going to be, Elizabeth's on the phone, and Ethan's helping me with my little mini apple pies today. Mm -hmm. Yummy, another flavor of fall. Okay, today I'm making a pretty plain rice, because you have enough flavors in the stew that you don't need a, a bunch of stuff in your rice. You just need a nice, a nice, like, plain canvas. Two cups of rice. Four cups of water. Two to one. I have four tablespoons of my blue bonnet margarine. I am going to put a little bit of cracked black pepper. And really, you know me with my salt, but for this, maybe, I don't know, teaspoonful of salt. Okay, Crystal Done. Squires just joined us. Hello there. How are you? Hello, what Crystal. Thank you. We're making beef stew today. This is the beginning of our fall. It's the beginning. Where are you, Chris? <laughs> there you are. Hello. <laughs> it's the beginning of our fall menu today. So we have beef stew and we have buttered rice and we have mini apple pies. And so it's going to be a great fall lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So rice is going. The buttered rice is going. I've got rolls in the oven. I've got my beef stew cooking. I am going to turn that up because I want that to be bubbling away. And then we're going to go right over here. I'm going to turn my frying pan on. We're going to cut. We're going to do the little the little fried pies right on top of the stove today. Eden Jace is helping me do my pies today. Now I've already got some prepared. Okay, and we're going to show you what we do. So Eden, I'm going to have you do one over here. And so, you remember, a nice scoop right on this side. So Crystal says, sounds delicious. And you know what, Crystal, it is delicious, and the smells in this kitchen have been crazy. Oh, while Eden's doing that, I'm going to make everybody my, my, my hot chocolate delight. You ready for this? Okay. My water's already boiled. One of these little Instapot thingies are great. The little water, I think, I don't know, what are these called? Um, water kettle? It's Some, an electric kettle. Do you know the little water thing that bubbles really quick? <laughs> Get one of those. <laughs> okay, so I just have plain old hot chocolate mix in there, and then I put some chocolate chips right in to get more chocolate flavor. Okay, we're going to fill up a little mason jar. Okay. How are we doing there, Eden Jace? 
Okay, so we have Teresa Essig watching with Hello, us. Hello, Teresa. And then How are you? Crystal says, did you ever get to make any of the meal suggestions? Um, I haven't, and I'll tell you why. I, I had all my menus set for this season, and hopefully we'll be back in 2021. We hope. Um, and so I will be all those suggestions and everything that everybody has sent in will be part of the new season. So you'll just have to stay tuned. That's all I can say about that. We haven't forgotten you guys and we do remember a lot of the recipes. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that up. So Aunt Teresa just said, hello, very good. Love the mason jar idea. Right? And that's very folly too, because you can do desserts in these, you can do your drinks in these, if you do like a, some kind of an apple cidery kind of a drink, because wouldn't that be delicious right now? And if you put the extra chocolate chips, what does it do? It just makes your chocolate, your hot chocolate more chocolatey, and if you're a chocolate lover, uh, yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. Okay, now, the cream is definitely going to melt, because we've got hot chocolate, but that is okay. We're okay with that. So I'm going to put some cream. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me get that out of the way. We're going to put some chocolate chips on top. Nothing goes better with chocolate than chocolate. And a few chocolate chips on top. And Elizabeth, there you go now. This is hot. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Let it cool. If you want to get a straw, you can. If you want to wait till it cools off and eat it with a spoon, you can do whatever you want to do. These are hot. Be careful, guys. Come on, cream. Here you go. So Crystal says, sounds exciting. <laughs> now, guys, speaking of exciting, I cannot tell you. Here, Em. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. How many people have already pre-ordered my cookbook? I'm humbled, I think it's fabulous, and thank you all. If you have not ordered a cookbook yet, told, or just tell us that you want one when they come in. They're, they're at the presses right now. The cookbook's done. I sent it off to Mars Cookbook Company, and they're printing all my books. They should be here next week, um, and then I will be ready to um, get everything mailed out to you guys. Chris, here's one for you. Oh, I thank you. Eden, are you going to have hot chocolate, honey? All right, well, I'm going to set one up for my table over here. Look at that. Are these beautiful or what? <laughs> okay, so Crystal says the banya is a good holiday dip with some veggies, uh, yes. French bread. And Aunt Teresa says, how much? And then uh, Jen Deal is with us. She Hello, says, hi, sister. and I did. <laughs> yes, you did. You even have... All of my kids, the three, my three daughters, mm -hmm. my sister and my mom all have a recipe in the, in the cookbook. And they're great recipes. Like Emily, tell them what, what recipe you contributed. Elizabeth, you can tell you some of the girls. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, I think I did, was it the shrimp ceviche, yes. right? Yes, so yes. I just did a quick and easy shrimp ceviche that I love and my kids love. Um, you can use it as, eat it as a meal, okay. but we usually use it as a, Beautiful. Like a dip. Perfect. We're huge. It's delicious. And we're excited. And Elizabeth, you you did what? I, uh, the Mexican uh, lasagna. Yes. 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 It's very delicious. Yes. It's more Chicken, more green up. chilies, and a lot of tortillas and cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's delicious. All right, well, the pan, the pan is definitely hot. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I'm going to put my oil in. I'm going to actually pour the oil over here so it doesn't splash. I hate burning my cameraman. We've done that and don't want to do that again. You need about a, like an inch of oil in the pan, okay? You, you really do because you want them to cook. Um, you want to still have room to flip the little the little pa uh, the little pies. Aiden did a great job. Look at these. He made those two, and we have enough to make. Aiden, how many more pies do you think we'll get? A couple more, two, three more, maybe. Three, maybe four. Okay. You push it. The the pie crust is just store bought, great value pie crust. There's two in a box. It's a long, skinny red box. And you just, I used these right here. 
you know, you could put it on this side and do this and then it kind of closes it. But I used the other side to get my round cut out, okay? And then we put our filling. Now today's filling is an apple caramel filling. Yummy. Okay, apple. That's a perfect fall flavor. I'm going to turn this down a bit because this is going. Yay! Okay, so Crystal says I have a good crock pot hot chocolate. Um, she said her children love it when they know it's cold. And then they ask for it or she surprises them with it. And Very then Patrice is asking how much the cookbooks are. Okay, the cookbooks are $18. You're going to get, um, I believe we wound up with more than 60 recipes. Um, it's really cool because you're going to get like five or six um, pages of hints and it's just it turned out to be a great book so they're 18 bucks that does not include the tax is included in that but it does not include the shipping and handling so we're trying to figure that out right now um, we're trying to look into bulk shipping and stuff like that so as far as shipping and handling goes I don't know yet I, I don't think it's going to be like super super expensive but we're going to keep it as, as low as we possibly can for you guys and um so that it, they sh they will be here probably by next week from what i'm being told and then i will start mailing it out we're still waiting to hit 100. okay we so really are says she would like one okay to elizabeth write that down please thank you teresa okay. we appreciate that very very much okay now i'm going to heat my oil and then we're going to throw that in so what do we do so far we've got the beef stew going We've got the buttered rice going, and we've got rolls in the oven, and now we're going to make our little tiny fried apple pies. Two weeks ago, for my dad's, uh, we did a little <coughs> dedication to my dad for his birthday, I did little mini pumpkin pies, and the family loved them. said they were absolutely delicious. They look delicious. I can't eat some of the stuff. I have a lot of food allergies, so I couldn't taste them. But trust me, if, they're, if it's gross, they'll tell me. If it's great, they'll tell me. And they all love the, the pumpkin, right? Yes. Yeah, and then I even delicious. had pumpkin, I even had pumpkin, um, the, the cream, the, the stuff that I put inside, the filling. So I made um, cupcakes out of them. And that was delicious too. Um, so the pumpkin, the little mini pumpkin pies, and now the apple, these would be a great, great dessert for Thanksgiving, which is really not that far away. Good grief. It's maybe, what, five, about six, seven weeks away is all. So it's, it's right around the bend. Okay, let me start right here. Let's see if our oil's ready yet. Not yet. You have to wait till the oil is hot. Yes, ma'am. Crystal ahead. just said this sounds so good. Love watching you. Yay, thank you. Hey, listen, please, everybody tell everybody about us. You know, it's really awesome because I know we're at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which whatever time that is in wherever you are, but by the time, like an hour after the show, we've got hundreds and hundreds of people that have watched the show, and then when Chris edits it and puts it on YouTube, we have hundreds and hundreds more. So people are watching, and we're very excited about that. So for those of you out there who watch all the time, we thank you so much, and we want you to please continue to invite people to watch us because we had fun what the heck we have a blast here i call it fun a food family and fun and that's exactly what we are around here you're part of our family we're a big italian family we love you all and we appreciate everybody tuning in week after week after week by the way this is week number 37. yay 37. okay Stu, i'm going to turn you down a little bit because you're going crazy right now but that's good Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, I think the oil is probably good. Let's see. It smells amazing. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's starting to bubble. That's a good sign. Woo I do have a plate here. Of course, with a paper towel, you definitely want to absorb any excess oil. Let's get some more of these apple pies dropped in. Again, just like with the, with the beef, you don't want to crowd. Um, your food in there because they cook differently. There's not enough room in there for them to do what they got to do. So make sure when you're putting these little pies in, give them room, give them a little space, okay? I'm going to do maybe four or five at a time and that's going to be 
plenty in my in my frying pan right here. And there we go. They're doing beautifully. And it's a little puff pastry, so they will definitely grow. Okay. Look at that. Right. Beef stew. Let's look at it. Holy Hannah! Look at this! Girls, are you on so that you can actually see this? Or do you want to come over here and look at how beautiful this is? We see it. Because this is just <laughs> perfect! It smells delicious. Yeah! Can't wait. Yeah. Ooh, man! Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to let it keep cooking. It's doing its job. It's doing great. Hallelujah. Here we go. Okay. Pies are doing great. <laughs> Rolls are done. Let me get my my handy dandy. Uh, what do you call these things? Handy dandy notebook. Crystal's asking what what all you put in the beef stew. Okay, so you start out with I I got plain old already cut stew meat. Okay, look at those guys. Beautiful. Let's see the bottom. <laughs> Perfect. Can you see perfect. that? Those are Beautiful. perfect rolls. Perfect rolls. Set aside. We'll eat that with the meal. Okay. So when you start beef stew, you have to take every single one of those little squares and flour them. Okay. And then you put them in the pan and you, you have to brown, nice and brown, both sides. So, and don't crowd the pan. It cooks differently. So every single piece of meat. That's why beef stew is time consuming, not only in that process, and the flour, by the way, thickens the broth, but it, it, the meat is, is, is part of the chuck steak, which is the top of the cap, okay? Another lesson here. So the chuck steak that beef tips, beef stew meat comes from is on the top of the cow, and because they use that muscle a lot, it gets tough, okay? And so, that kind of meat is, 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 it takes a long time and a slow, a low temp to cook the, ten, the, 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 the harder meats, okay? Now, could you do beef stew with prime rib? Yes, but why would you want to? <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to cut it into little pieces. So you use a cheaper kind of meat for something like this where you're going to throw a whole bunch of other stuff in. You really wouldn't want to use you know, filet mignon and, and any of those really nice cuts of meat. Not for, not for something like this. Okay. So Yvette just said, uh, that's so sweet, your grandson helping you in the kitchen. She he was off. And then Jen Deal just said, I wasn't looking, I'm at work, and you just scared me when you screamed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me tell you, this morning I was watching, and I watch a lot, I watch Bob, Bob Ross. Happy Trees. Happy Trees, the guy that paints, you know, I don't know if you, well, there watches Bob Ross. I watch him, like, literally every morning, he's very calming. And he talks about when you're painting a picture, he says, you really never know what the final outcome is going to be. It's the same thing with cooking. Now, I'm telling you this. Even if you had a recipe, I'm sending you guys recipes in my book, whoever wants it. And even if you go by the recipe, same, every time you do it, it's going to taste a little different. And that's because it depends on, you know, maybe you put a little bit more garlic salt. Maybe your ingredients came from a different store. The factors go on and on and on. So cooking and creating is an art, okay? And you create. Every time you're here, you create. Isn't that exciting? I find that exciting. I don't know about anybody else, but I find that exciting. Look how beautiful those are. Oh, yeah. So Crystal thanked you. She said, great, thank you for telling her what was in there and how to do this. So, yes, let me finish, Crystal. Oh, and then I put um, onion, carrots, celery, potatoes, and peas. Okay, so once the meat had cooked for two hours on a slow, low cooking, I put all my vegetables in. I did put a little bit of um, chicken broth. Use the chicken broth, guys. Seriously, you might think, why would she use chicken broth with a beef dish? Because the chicken broth is very mild. And the chicken broth takes nothing away. You guys, look at this. 
The chicken broth takes nothing away from the flavor of the beef. It is a great, safe kind of addition to any kind of dish that you're doing. And it, it at the end of the at the end of the meal, it tastes like it helps it taste like you've been cooking it all day. It's a great you should just have it in your pantry. Now, even though I'm taking these little pies out, they're not done yet. No, they're not. Can you see this, Chris? But Ben just said it's a family it. affair. It is a family affair. And then Jen said that's why I want to challenge you to a chop sister challenge. When, when, when can we do it? We'll do it for the show. We'll do it for the show. Let's do it. We've been talking about doing that for years. I'd love to do that. That would be fun. Okay, I've got my final pies in. Eden's got some more going here, and we'll put those in in a little while. You can do them on there, baby. But these, yeah, the second batch never takes as long, obviously. But look how beautiful those are. Yay! Okay, you know what? I can shut the oven off. Woohoo! I love that. The quicker that can go off, the better for me. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like the oven on. It's still, it's a beautiful day outside, but I think it's going to reach like 80 degrees or something out today. So the last few days, it's been in the 60s, and it was, I was like, oh yay, the show, I'm going to do the show on a nice cool day, and then it went to 80. Okay, whatever. All right. Pies are looking great, guys. All right, so let's talk about it. You know, we've had this contest going, three to five ingredients. I know everybody's got a three to five ingredient. Look at that recipe out there. I know you do. We're still trying to do it. So if you can send us a recipe, just go to our website, www.mcnfedup.biz, and you can submit a recipe. You can also go straight to the website and order. Um, what, what you'll do if you're ordering a book is go to the website, and then it'll send me a I want some people have said one book, some people have said five books. So I've had a whole a bunch of numbers for, for books, which I'm very excited about. And so all you have to do is get into the website. Uh, for the cooking, for the cookbook, uh, I actually have a cookbook store page. And it's I, I made it very easy for you to just tell me what you need. Uh, again, it's a great, great Christmas gift. Believe me, if you have people in your family that like to cook or they, maybe they need a little help in the kitchen, with easy recipes, buy them this cook, this book, and I will sign it if you'd like me to. So there you go. All right, these are done because they're kind of floating. Look at that. Oh, the color of these beautiful pies. Now, guys, wouldn't this be a perfect, seriously, a perfect little side, a perfect little dessert for, for Thanksgiving and Christmas? Same thing, Christmas. A lot of a lot of the recipes and stuff for both holidays are. Kind of the same. So Jen says signing is extra. Signing is extra? Yes. How Sign much extra? My sister's like my business uh, guy over here. Yeah. And then Aunt Harolyn just joined us. Hello, Harolyn. How are you? Okay, we have two more pies, but while they're cooking, let's go over here. And I want to show you what else I'm going to do with these. Beautiful. I can get this out of the way. Oh, no. Eden's still working on it. Okay. So all, of, all I'm doing right here is I'm making a glaze, okay? So I have, um, it's a uh, half a cup of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, and two tablespoons of milk. That's all it is, okay? And then I'm just gonna stir it up, and it makes an instant, delicious, beautiful icing. Can everybody see that? That's all it is, is an icing. And it's, it's, it's a perfect little, so let me show you. Now, I'm going to turn my parchment paper over because it had some raw dough on the other side. So I'm going to turn my parchment over. Make sure you get all the lumps out of this. Okay? Okay, there we go. So now, let's put some of these out here. Okay, now, I'm going to take this and all I'm going to do is drizzle it on top. That's it. Just drizzle that on top. Okay? But now, you thought I was done, didn't you? <laughs> but wait, there's more. 
There's more. Wait, there's more. And then I'm gonna oh. drizzle oh, stop. some caramel sauce across oh, my the goodness. top. And there you have it. So Eden, if you want to, you can start doing that, honey. <coughs> drizzle that. Emily, you might want to help him. Okay, I'm taking these off. He said he's fine. He's so fine. Crystal just said cream cheese icing would be good with that also. Cream cheese icing would be amazing. Yeah. And then we have Mima with us. She's actually with Aunt Lisa. Hello, ladies. She Hello, said, Hi, mother. Christine. It's mom. You look beautiful. And tell Christopher to save me some food. <laughs> mm, I, can make some, I can make this again when you get here. She's in Nebraska right now. Love you, friend, but it's not okay. happening. Okay. So. Make sure, please make sure you take the hot oil off the burner because, you know, it's hot oil. we don't want fires in our kitchen and that'll do it. So get it off there. Okay, that's all off. This is almost done. Yep. I didn't do it. Stew, let's check the stew. Okay, now the easiest way to check to see if the veggies are done is take one of your big giant pieces of potato and it broke. So guess what, everybody? I told you, right about the time everything's done, everything will be done. See? I'm so excited. Okay, look at this. Girls, look at the stew. I know, it I smells wait. delicious. Oh my gosh. And the hot chocolate's great. Is it? Yay! And, I mean, I haven't had anything out of a bowl jar in probably 20 years. And wow. this is There you amazing. go. Okay, <laughs> how we doing there? Great. Looks beautiful. Okay, guys, let's see how my rice is. If the rice is done, a couple minutes on the rice. So, okay, I want to go through everything, and I don't want to tell you what we're cooking next week, because like I said, I'm changing up my menu for fall, okay? And then fall, of course, you got your holidays, then I'm going to do a big thing on New Year's Eve, and it's holiday. Okay, so, cookbook, 18 bucks. <laughs> Go to the website and just go to my cookbook store page and order one, five, ten, hundred, whatever you want to order. Just order. Okay? It's a great Christmas gift. Okay, I would like the recipes, three to five ingredients, and then my family is going to, we're going to, it's a blind, we don't want to know who sent it in. Chris is the only one that will actually take the recipes off the site. And we won't know who sent it. I don't want to know who sent it because that's going to make it fun. I'm not going to be partial to anybody. So you just send your recipes in and, and we'll have a contest. We're still waiting to do that. Okay, you used to see performers on. We did a lot of that during COVID when nobody was out and about. But all those people are performing now. They're, all the theaters have reopened. And so in case anybody was wondering, well, how come nobody else is singing on your show and stuff? It's because everybody's back to work, which is... A good thing, okay, I just want to go through all my stuff. Um, okay, someday, mom. And girl, oh, yes, we've been having people also ask. You know, we do mom and pop karaoke. Uh, not karaoke. <laughs> mom and pop. <laughs> Time out. Mom and one. girl. Yeah. <laughs> one. Mom and girl paparazzi. We do jewelry. We've had a lot of people asking when are you going to do that again. So we'll be doing that. So look for that also. Now next week, my my menu. Is Italian meatball soup. Do you know what that is? It's delicious. A, it is good. delicious. It's a hearty soup. When I was a kid, Campbell's soup had, um, it was called chicorina soup. And chicorina soup was a, like a chicken soup with little mini meatballs. Now, what was funny is that we, my mom made that all the time, but she didn't make her own. She made, you know, the, the can of chicorina soup. And I remember all of us kids, there were five of us growing up together. They were all from, I would say, I was the oldest, and then Tommy, and then Jerry, and then Jennifer, and then Mark. Everybody would eat the little meatballs first. And then, then you eat the soup. But the meatballs were like this huge treat, and they're so good. Well, I'm making an Italian meatball soup next week. I'm making homemade Italian bread. And let's see, what else am I making? Oh, a lemon regatta pie. Oh. Yeah. The gata I love, and lemon I love, so I'm gonna love the pot. And then we're gonna have some lemon pellegrini. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we have Vivian Wooster with us. Hello, Vivian, how she's, are you, dear? She said she needs to come visit. <laughs> yes. And then Jen just said, I'll sing for you. Yay! What are you gonna sing? Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> She'll sing that, or that other one you used to do. 
uh, cold day in July by the by the chicks, not the dicks, it's the chicks. By the chicks. The dreams too. The dreams. And dreams? I don't know that I've ever heard of any dreams. Okay, I am turning this down because you know what? Here's the thing. Because I had enough flour on all the meat earlier, when I floured and drenched the, the little pieces of meat, I don't need it any thicker. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you know what? We're going to serve some food. It's time. We are like 38 minutes in. And we've got beef stew. Again, if you do your meat first, everything else is quick. Okay? That's the fast, easy part of it. Okay? The meat, no shortcuts. Sorry. <laughs> no shortcuts. Unless, of course, you do use prime rib. Then it's like butter anyway. But I can't imagine wasting. I can't imagine wasting prime rib on a stick. Okay. So, I have my, my buttered rice. It's just plain, plain white rice with some cracked black pepper, a little bit of the garlic salt. But I mean, a little bit of salt and four tablespoons of butter. I wanted a nice buttery rice. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how beautiful. Look at this! I need pictures! Crystal just said, sounds delicious. Wish you could send the plate my way. I wish I could too! I really do, guys. Oh, heavens to Murgatory. Look at that. I, I, I just want you to just look, absorb it in, taste it, smell it, because that is a beautiful, perfect beef stew and a roll. Come over. Which one's calling my name? Actually, this one right here. <laughs> All right, let's get down in there, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, hey, who's going to be my taste tester? Oh, I will. Okay, <laughs> I'm here. You'll get the taste in a second, and everybody will taste it in a second. Would you please? All right, like, why can't you have a seat? Because I can't eat beef. You think I'm not sad <laughs> right now? Because I want to taste that so badly. It's you know very why? hot. <laughs> yes, it's very hot. You know what? Let me get you a bigger spoon. How about that? Yeah. I like little spoons. I like little spoons. Do you like little spoons? <laughs> I do. Yeah. You can't eat with little spoons. Here. There. <laughs> Party food needs a party spoon. I have a spoon for you. No, no, no. There you go. Oh, that, that stresses me. Do it. Bobby would eat with that spoon. Do it. All right, come on, I gotta yeah. see this. So Crystal says she loves rice. She, um, when it's left over, she adds butter, sugar, and milk. It's delicious. Okay. And then Vivian said, oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful and yummy. Yeah, Vivian, I, I, I can assure you, like I said, I can't taste it, but I can guarantee you that that is a to die for stew. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the vegetables are perfect, everything's perfect. You've got to cook that meat ahead of time, folks. Mm. Tell me. Am I very good? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> mm. The meat's nice and tender. Yay! Um, it's, it's, you got to do the meat. That's a good wintry Yay! cold day. Oh, I'm so excited. I gotta show them again. Here. I just yeah, that's you guys, great. seriously? That is, is that, is that perfect? perfect? Elizabeth, I'm gonna let you share germs with your sister. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll get we, you a new spoon. We shared a room. Emily, for your spoon's over here. Get the girls. Years. I'm gonna get another spoon for Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. And I just want you to taste that. I'm not sick. <laughs> because, you know, I'm so proud of this stew. You have no idea. There you go. Okay, hot. Yes. It's tongue. hot. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Taste the meat. Mm -hmm. Get the meat. I've got a lot of veggies in that plus. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. My first fall meal or beef stew, buttered rice, delicious roll. <laughs> Thank you for joining me again. Order the cookbooks. Tell everybody you know. Or just order a whole bunch to give away for Christmas. 
thank you guys for your support. We love you guys. We'll see you next week for my Italian meatball soup. Bye-bye.